Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to our daily spiritual diet to feed our spirit, soul, and body. Use Turning Point for daily devotion as you wake up. Either lying on your bed, sitting down in the bathroom, taking your bath in the kitchen, or if you do family devotion, use it for family devotion. Speak to God and let God also speak to you. After Turning Point ministrations, pray more on your own. Pray in tongue if you can, or in your understanding, if you are not yet able to speak in tongue. God hears it all. Speak to your day and prophesy to the atmosphere. Take control of the day spiritually before you step out of your house. If you engage this spiritual exercise consistently enough, your spiritual atmosphere will be so charged. Remember, the spiritual controls the physical. Welcome also to day 15 in the fifth month of the year. Also, the first working day in the in the in the week in the week, open your hand or lay them on yourself as I prophetically bless you again today. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. I pronounce you blessed. The ground on which you walk and walk shall be productive for you. Your ground shall not be barren. Your environment shall not be hostile against you. God will order your steps to waiting miracles into unsolicited favors. You will not lack help and support. Whatever you have been waiting for, praying about, and wishing you get will happen for you early this week. You will hear good news from far and near. You will hear good news. Every demonic culture fighting you and your interests shall catch fire. You will not appear on that crystal ball. This shall be your day and your week of open doors. I have an urge in my heart today to pray for those whose prayers life or their zeal and passion to serve God had doing do, had been coming down. Your prayer life had become weak. You know it yourself. It is either that you are frustrated over long expectations not fulfilled, or you are just tired of everything. Ah, if it is you this is describing, let me pray for you. I pray that your initial and original fire be restored back to you. Catch your zeal back. May every form of disappointment, frustration, depression, tears, live your life now. God will turn things around for you. God will intervene in that matter. In Jesus' name, say amen, I receive it. Please return back to your initial prayer, fasting, service, and giving life. You will testify here very soon. Everybody do this. Stick out your tongue a little from your mouth. And let me prophesy to your tongue and your mouth. From now on, receive the tongue of fire. Like the day of Pentecost, receive the tongue of fire. You shall say a thing, and it shall happen. You shall prophesy a thing, it shall manifest for all to see. May your tongue and mouth become divinely initiated and empowered by God's power. Say amen. Please anoint your tongue if you have your anointing oil there, or whenever you have access to your anointing oil. Your prayers and prophetic declarations shall bring more miracles to you than before. May 15th celebrant, your prayers be blessed, be lifted. You will mark May 15th yearly in peace, in joy, in good health, and in abundance in Jesus' name. Listeners, right now, welcome to a 14-day journey into testimonies of God's wonders to us on this platform. Send or resend yours. Connect to the testimonies of others by faith and also by sacrificial seed. If God gives you grace to do that, your own turnaround will also happen. First testimony today. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the following. My phone that stopped working since December 2022 has started working after wrapping it with my mantle that was anointed online. Fungi infection on the nails that troubled me for years, I cannot count, has disappeared completely just by rubbing my communion element on my palm and fingers every time I took communion. Daddy asked women to tell us how stubborn this infection can be on the nails. Then people will understand what God has done for me. I return all the glory to God. Wow, women, Eva, this is your nail fixing. I wonder the side effect after a prolonged time. God has healed you and healed you completely. Another one, my boss implicated me in an issue that could have led to my dismissal. Forced my subordinates to lie against me at a disciplinary panel. 
I feed into some similar testimonies, and finally, what I got was a transfer to a department I have been longing for. No caution, no warning, no suspension. To God be the glory. Wow. When a boss lied against you, it will take God's intervention. Somebody said, the month of May has really blessed me. I started my master's degree far back in 2019 in ABU Zaria. With the help of God Almighty, I did my external defense on the third of this month. Two, God also healed me of a long-term infection. I return all the glory to him. Thanksgiving seed will be sent soon. Hallelujah. Wow. The Lord bless you. Somebody said, I want to testify to God's wonders in my life. And me, last month, I wore one of the clothes that he anointed for us. And God saved me from a terrible accident that would have taken my legs. Also, in one of daddy's prayers, he said we should sow a seed after the prayer and we will receive a miracle phone call. And I did. Two days later, my mom called that their house was gutted by fire, but it did not get to her own apartment. I want to thank God for preservation of life. And just a few days ago, daddy said someone will get a new mobile phone. Even though I have my phone that is working presently, yet I got a new phone that day. I want to give God all the glory for his faithfulness. All listeners, new, new things will be happening for you. Another testifier. I want to thank God for using my brother to bless me with 40K on Wednesday, 26th of April. Also, my brother's wife blessing me again with 35K on 7th of May. The God that we serve does not leave us stranded. I know God will send someone to pay my rent and he will not put me to shame. Yes, it will not put you to shame. I have come to share my testimony to the glory of God, the mystery of the first foot and battle sea. I had several failed IVF in the past. This time, I decided to pay my first fruit and battle sea before going for another procedure. I also called the line pastor. He prayed and said, God will perfect it. Behold, it was successful. I am now pregnant. Daddy, please pray for divine protection and perfection for me and the babies. All through the nine months, God bless you and your team, your daughter from Bayesta State. Consider it done. They will carry that pregnancy through and deliver the babies in peace. Somebody said, come and join me sing hallelujah. Jehovah Julia has done me well. I give God all the glory as I move into the new house that my children have just built for me to celebrate Easter and my birthday in April last month. They bought me a nice car exactly two years ago. Thanks for all your prayers, sir. God will continue to renew and increase your anointing. Kindly pray that God will reward and bless all these children for me at their point of need. My monthly tithe and thanksgiving seed already sent to the Zenith account of the commission. God will bless these children for you. You will live long for them. They will also live well. Another testimony. I want to thank God for healing me of high blood pressure and high sugar level. Pastor, pray that my healing be permanent and restoration of my business so that I will continue with my abandoned project in Jesus' name. Battle seed and thanksgiving seed has already been sent. Consider it done. I thank God for my son's passes, passing junior wife. I thank God for approval of my seniority adjustment. Daddy, pray that the next promotion, my name will be included, and also my son to pass the common entrance of my school of choice. Consider it done. Somebody said, indeed, the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is saved. God made me whole after I apply all the instructions and use all the Bible verses to pray as daddy instructed. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, daddy, for sharing the truth about the word of God. Thank God for me also, for I believe it is permanent. More grace, it is permanent. I thank God Almighty for blessing me with 325,000 naira from Yam contract. Only God could have done this. I'm immensely grateful to God Almighty for everything. Thank you, Jesus. 325,000 naira from Yam. <laughs> I give all the glory to God Almighty for answering my prayer of getting a better job offer. I have always desired a better job, and Jehovah Almighty has done it for me. Thank you, Daddy, for your prayers for us. May God Almighty continue to bless you and turn it point family pastors. Wow! Our God is great. You shall be the next testifier. Please broadcast it to all your contacts. Do so daily. Join us online. 
Later today, for the Monday's edition of Ask Your Question broadcast, time as usual is 9.30 to 10.40 p.m. West African time. A reminder shall be sent to you by 9 p.m. today. Let all those hearing me now connect online. Then, please don't forget, load your data. Don't sleep off. You know you can watch live or watch later. But don't miss live broadcast every Monday and Friday. Finally, no farmer have any hope of harvest who did not plant a seed during planting season. So is any child of God who failed to pay tight on God's income to him or her, or so all the seed as we teach and encourage them. Remember, you don't lack what you give. You only lack what you hold and what you keep to yourself. The law of life is that planting precedes harvesting, sowing precedes reaping. Ask God to give you grace to be a faithful tither and a committed seed sower. If you notice, every day I touch on tithing and sowing seed, and I do that deliberately so that we can build a tithing and seed sowing culture. No matter how much we pray and fast and anoint and cry, if we don't sow, we will be owing. If we don't sow seed, we will not have harvest. It's a law of life. And I want everyone connected on this platform to be financially buoyant and for God to protect you. These are the things to do. Pray that God gives you the grace to understand the mystery of tithing and of sowing seed. Not that God has a need, not that the commission has a need, but that is the law of life. I prophesy to everyone's life today, the Lord bless you. All this prophetic blessing over your life shall be fulfilled. You will not lack what you give. The power of God will be on you. Tears shall be turned to laughter. Emptiness shall become fullness. The grace of God shall be sufficient for everyone. This week has opened for you. Great and mighty things than before shall drop for you. It is your week of laughter and roaring testimonies. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not close until you are blessed and truly fulfilled. And Femi Emmanuel, I love you. Have a good day and a wonderful week. Bye.